So have you ever watched Shark Tank and you heard a pitch that someone wanted $100,000 for 5% of his company, or someone else wanted $500,000 for 20% of her company, but then you realize as you were watching that you didn't actually know what that meant a company was worth? Well, that's the goal of this short video. We want to help you understand how to figure out the value of a company based on a pitch by an entrepreneur or based on the counteroffer of a shark. My name is Dr. Jennifer Winward, and I'm the founder and CEO of Winward Academy. I know that many of you are used to having me teach you tips for math class and ACT, SAT, college apps, all of that fun stuff. But today I'm extra excited about this lesson because reviewing percents is always a great idea. If you're prepping for the ACT and SAT, you definitely need to know percents, but it's also a concept that's great for you to understand just for everyday life. So let's get started with a sample pitch. It looks like Jeremy Tab is from San Diego, California, and he's seeking $250,000 in exchange for 10% of his company, Green Thumb. Jeremy has developed a foolproof, all-in-one intelligent gardening system that fits right in your living room. Green Thumb takes the guessing out of planting and makes it possible for anyone to grow fresh flowers or vegetables with the click of a button. So the big question is, what is Jeremy's valuation of his company, Green Thumb? So I want to pretend, right, or I want you to pretend that you're watching Shark Tank. Jeremy's on the show. He says, hey, I want 250 grand for 10% of my company. And I want you to then know in that moment, well, what does that mean that Jeremy thinks his company is worth? So let's go through step-by-step step how to figure that out. So remember, our question is, by asking for $250,000 in exchange for 10% of his company, Jeremy is proposing what value, right? What does he think his company is worth? So we're gonna go through this in three steps. Number one, I want you to learn the equation. So the way that you're gonna calculate Jeremy's perceived value of his own company is you're gonna take the price, so the amount of money that he's requesting, divided by the percent of equity that he is offering in exchange for that capital, in exchange for that cash, right? That money, that 250 grand. So let's see how we plug those in, right? So the price, right, the amount of money he's requesting is $250,000. Divided by the percent, he's offering 10% equity. Now, you can't put, go to a calculator and type 250,000 divided by 10%, right? You need to understand what does 10% mean? How do we convert that to a fraction? Or how do we convert that to a decimal so that we can do the division? So I want you to remember that anytime you see the word or the, the symbol for percent, that is the same thing as divided by 100. So 10% is the same thing as 10 divided by 100. And 10 divided by 100 is the same thing as 0.1. Remember, dividing by 100 is the same thing as moving the decimal two places to the left. So 10 divided by 100, if you move the decimal once to the left, that would be 1. Twice to the left, that would be 0.1. So we're going to figure out Jeremy's proposed value by doing 250,000 divided by 0.1, which is the same thing as dividing by 10%. So Jeremy is pitching to the sharks that his company, Green Thumb, is worth $2.5 million. So let's see how the sharks react. So what does Robert say? So Robert feels that Jeremy needs someone who enjoys plants and gardening to go on this journey with him as an investor, and that is just not who he is. And for that reason, he's out. What does Mark Cuban say? So Mark believes that Green Thumb is a more intelligent gardening system However, he worries Green Thumb takes away the touchy-feely aspect of gardening and is far too expensive for the consumer. For those reasons, he is out. Ah, but don't worry, Jeremy, here comes Mr. Wonderful. So Mr. Wonderful is beyond intrigued by the product and believes that he can push Green Thumb into the big box stores, right, stores like Target and Walmart. With the contingency that Jeremy cuts the product price in half, Mr. Wonderful makes a counteroffer of $250,000 for 25% of the company. So remember, the original pitch is that Jeremy wanted 250 grand in exchange for 10% of his company. But now Mr. Wonderful has come in and said, well, I'll give you the money, but I want more equity, right? I want 25%. So Mr. Wonderful, 
So your question is, what does Mr. Wonderful believe green thumb is worth? So what we're gonna do, do is go through those exact same steps that we did the first time, right? First, let's make sure we have our equation. We're gonna take the cash, right, the money, the price, divided by the percent. So we're gonna do the $250,000, that money that's being requested, divided by the 25% equity. Remember, 25%, when you see percent, it's the same thing as divided by 100. So 25 divided by 100 is 0.25. So Mr. Wonderful's counteroffer, we're going to be able to calculate as 250,000 divided by 0.25, which is $1 million. So the next kind of bonus thing for us to learn is percent change. So I want you to be able to watch this show and think to yourself, okay, Jeremy thought his company was worth two and a half million. Mr. Wonderful counters and says, eh, I think it's worth one million. And then I want you to be able to take that next step of calculating, well, what is that percent change, right? What is that percent decrease? So the next equation I wanna teach you and the next thing I want us to practice is how to calculate the percent change from Jeremy's proposed valuation of two and a half million dollars to Mr. Wonderful's counter offer of one million dollars. So this is a new equation. Remember the first equation that you learned, the price divided by the percent, that's to calculate the perceived value of the company. Now we're calculating the percent change from two and a half million to one million. So percent change, the equation is the difference divided by the original. So we're gonna do the new price minus the original price divided by the original price, right? The difference is gonna be the difference, right? Subtract the new price minus the original divided by the original. Then to convert it to a percent, we'll multiply by 100. So what does that mean we'll do? The new price is $1 million, that's the counter offer, minus the original price, which was two and a half million, divided by the original price of two and a half million, and then you will take that number, which is 0.6, and then you'll multiply by 100, or excuse me, it's negative 0.6, so then when you multiply by 100, you get negative 60. So then what is your answer? Your answer is a 60% decrease, again, because the answer is negative, it's a decrease in percent change. If your answer is positive, then the percent change is an increase. Okay, so what is our hope, right? Our hope is that the next time you watch Shark Tank, you feel super savvy, that you know how to calculate not only what the valuations of the companies are, but also the percent change. That's kind of that extra special last step. Remember, you can always feel free to connect with Windward Academy. We love providing resources and fun ways to learn, to maximize your opportunities in college and beyond. And of course, hopefully you will never watch Shark Tank the same way again, because now you're gonna be quick to figure out those company valuations.